Bulldog fans, welcome into another edition of Inside Athletics presented by Alabama Power. John McAfee's today have a volleyball season preview and I'm joined of course by head coach Keeler Chan. Coach, always appreciate your time and hard to believe, but volleyball right around the corner. You guys get going this weekend. Uh, thank you. It's been a good preseason and we're looking forward to seeing another team across the net. Well, I got to start by asking about the health of the team. Have you guys had a pretty healthy preseason? We know last year that was kind of uh, that was kind of the, the tough part for you last season. You guys just couldn't stay healthy. Yeah, that's, it was really out of our control and things that really, they happened in match play last year, so it was super crazy. But, you know, you do this long enough and those things kind of happen. And um, there was a lot to be proud of last year. It was just, uh, it, it was just really hard to overcome the injuries that we sustained. But overall, we're in a good space right now. We're healthy. And, uh, and we're competing and we're getting better every day, which is really, really fun to see with this group. Well, when you look at your roster on paper, certainly you should have a, a pretty good team and it's led by that big senior class. And of course, Lauren Deaton, now a fifth year senior, preseason also con selection. Kenya McWhorter is also a preseason also con selection. Then you've got the defensive specialists, Andy Slasky and Emily Nauber, and also Sarah Hayes Farley in that group. When you look at that senior class, how, are, how important are they to your program and how important are they to this season? Oh, they're critical. Um, I do believe you're, you're really only going to go as far as your seniors take you. Uh, they're the ones that are in charge of carrying your culture and your traditions and your legacy forward. So, you know, I think that, that uh, that's a critical piece. And, and I'm, uh, so far, I, this group has been fantastic is leadership and understanding what we want to get across and how we're going to go about doing our business. So I'm excited for them. I'm excited for the senior group. We know Kenya and, and Deaton are going to play on the pins. Mm -hmm. What about the right side? That's a, that's an area where we've kind of seen some rotation. What do you expect? Yeah, to um, I mean, we have a, a young player emerging right now, Gracie Lynn Butler, and she needed a year of training and she's gotten it. Um, Sarah Hayes will be out there too competing. Sarah Hayes will kind of flip between left and right depending on what we need. We're very deep this year, which is the first first time we've been as deep as we are. So we're uh, you know we're, we're excited about the the possibilities that we have before us. And then talk about the the middle blocker position as well. Obviously, you have to replace Bree Holmes who graduated. You've got Kate Wonis coming back. What do you what do you see as the other potential middle options? You know we have uh, we we had Kaya Hood who's kind of battled some injuries and now she's healthy and training for the first time in a while. A real tall girl and she has potential to do some special things. And then we have a, a local girl Greer Golden from Mountain Brook that we really didn't know what we we had in her and I think she didn't really know what college volleyball is about and. We're so thrilled that, that she decided to come and give it a shot, and she's really kind of ascended really high in our, our program. So, you know, starting weekend, you could see uh, Greer from Mountain Brook and Kate, and, and Kaya's uh, done some things, and we're excited about the possibilities. Again, that's kind of what this team is. Like, a lot of depth, a lot of potential, and now it's about trying to fulfill that potential. Feels like you guys have a lot of depth at the defensive specialist and libero position as well. Of course, we mentioned Nobert and Salaski back there, and then Kate Morgan came on last year and really wore the libero jersey for most of the season. What do you expect from her out of her sophomore campaign? Uh, to be better. Um, you know, Kate is the right now the starting libero, and she's earned that. And Andy and Emily are fighting hard, and that, that you need that competition in your gym, driving that flywheel of improvement and and uh, and, and kind of making everyone their best. So. When everyone's competing at a high level and everyone on any night can be as good as you, it makes everyone kind of get better. Um, it's kind of just, you know, when you gotta, when you got to fight for your life, you, you learn how to fight really well and, and really get, get great at your craft. Well, we mentioned you're senior heavy, but talk a little bit about some of the newcomers as well. You already mentioned Greer Golden, but what have you seen out of the freshman class? We love them. They're, they are great athletes um, that are, have to learn how to play volleyball on the college level. Um, and they have, a lot of them have great training in, in high school, but there's, in club, there's just such a big jump. There's one way we want them to, to look at this is a, a great opportunity to learn from some very experienced and veteran players and take all the notes that they can and use this this year wisely as a, a year of improvement and training. Um, there's a possibility some of them work their way on the court, uh, but there's a lot of improvement they have to do. But it, um, we're excited about the, the, their future for sure. And this year we'll just they'll help in so many ways make us better. You guys have a pretty strong non-conference schedule. It's something that you've kind of done the last several years and it starts right off the bat. You're going to Baton Rouge for an LSU tournament this opening weekend. You've got a home tournament where you host Clemson. You go to UAB, you're gonna to get to go head to head with the Freebirds yeah. again. So talk a little bit about, that, about the non-conference schedule and what you wanna see out of your team in that portion of the season. Uh, I mean, I thought last year we had a good one and we didn't turn out to be super up. Um, no, I mean, I, you know, we, we wanna challenge ourselves. We want people to be able to poke holes in what we do. And because sometimes you think you're good at something and you're getting in your own way because you don't see it every day. And when you have a team that can do certain things that you didn't, you didn't know they could do and your team struggled at it, those are good things. So we want to play teams that can push us, that have potential to beat us, that have different strengths and weaknesses. So they're, they're, they're doing different things on the court. So, yeah, I mean, uh, we have a mix this year for sure. I mean, we have some high-end teams. You know, the first weekend is 
very challenging without question. But I think it's, uh, you know, it's, this group's ready. We are, we're mature enough to handle this. Um, and I think last year, all those, all those challenges we had to deal with, I hopefully we'll pay dividends this year. That's kind of, hopefully we, we've, uh, we'll reap what we sowed a little bit for the improvement for this year. You know, I, I, I tell our kids, I'm not so concerned about wins and losses if we see improvement um, in, in, in many ways, not just physically, but emotionally, mentally, how we connect as a team. If we're improving and we see the, the tangible improvements, the winning will come. Um, and yeah, we're hopeful, you know, we, we, we believe we're good enough to do it out of the gate, but if we aren't, we aren't. And the most important thing is we face the facts, get back in the gym, get better at those things, um, and realize like that those are lessons to be learned. So we, we are, are playing our best volleyball at the end of the year. That is the goal. Um, but yeah, we want to win every match for sure. Um, but you know, we'll see what ends up happening through all that. Well, in the Southern Conference, you guys are picked second in the preseason poll, just one point behind Wofford. Obviously, the Terriers are bringing back a lot of talent as well. What do you see when you look around the league? Wofford and Sanford returned to quite a bit. Everyone else turned over a lot of the roster. So, um, you know, it, uh, to be determined, really. I, we, there's not much we know about some teams. You know, like ETSU has a lot of talent, but I know they've been hurt quite a bit, severe injuries. And if they get those kids back and they're playing good, they'll be a good team. Um, and then some people get transferred. I mean, with today's day and age, you really don't know how teams are going to how they're going to be built and what's going to happen. So, um, I think the the wise thing is just to focus on us. And when Ben scouts the teams and we get a chance to see them, we'll, we'll, we'll put what we need to do in place and, and, and put our best foot forward. Coach, appreciate your time. Looking forward to awesome. it. Awesome. Go Bulldogs. Sanford will open the season this weekend at the LSU Tournament. That's head coach Keeler Chan. I'm John McAfee. That'll be for this edition of Inside Athletics presented by Alabama Power.